Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about pressure gauge calibration in reverse osmosis plant in instrumentation and control section. Pressure gauge calibration Pressure calibration is the comparison of the output of a pressure gauge against a standard instrument of higher accuracy. Several methods are available for the calibration of pressure gauges. The chosen method will depend on the pressure range of the gauge to be calibrated, standard gauge or digital readout pressure calibrator, vacuum gauge tester, dead weight tester. Standard gauge or digital readout pressure calibrator. The gauge to be calibrated is subjected to the same air or liquid pressure as a standard gauge or electronic calibrator. Some electronic calibrators are equipped with a hand pump as a pressure and vacuum source. This method is usually for low to high pressures ranges. Vacuum gauge tester. Vacuum gauges are calibrated against a column of mercury. The upper end of the manometer tube and the gauge to be tested are connected to a vacuum pump. Dead weight tester. A deadweight tester is a calibration standard that uses the principle of a pressure balance to calibrate pressure measuring instruments. Deadweight testers use calibrated weights to apply known pressures to a device under test for a simple and cost-effective solution that covers a wide range of pressure calibrations. Deadweight tester can be used for pressures up to 10,000 psi. It cannot usually be used below 10 psi. Schematic of gauge calibration. Pressure is applied with help of pressure source which supply pressure to both master pressure gauge, high accuracy, and test pressure gauge pressure regulator is used to regulate the pressure, bleed valve to vent air, Pressure cutoff valve to hold the pressure during testing. Pressure gauge calibration system. Digital pressure gauge is used as master gauge with accuracy 0.25%. Test gauge connected in other end. Normally test gauge accuracy is 1%. Calibration procedure. Step 1. Connect the gauge to be calibrated and the master gauge to calibrator as shown on figure. Step 2. Before applying any pressure to the gauge vent the system with help of needle valve and spindle wheel. Calibration Procedure Step 3. Apply pressure to the gauge to be calibrated in increments upward a minimum of 5.25%. 50%, 75%, and 100% over the full range of the gauge. Step 4. Record the value of pressure indicated by the master gauge and corresponding value of pressure increment. Calibration Procedure Step 5. Apply pressure to the gauge to be calibrated in downward and check descending pressure at 75%, 50%, and 25% over the full range of the gauge. Step 6. Record the master gauge and test gauge reading. Calibration Procedure Step 7. Compute the percent error according to accuracy of gauge for each applied pressure and compare the values obtained with permissible error values. Step 8. Record the pressure and error, as found. If calibration result, failed, error out of range, then need to RECLBRATON. 
pressure gauge recalibration, recalibration required due to following reason, zero error, span or range errors, dot linearity, angularity, errors. Zero errors. If the pointer is removed from a pressure gauge and then replaced in such a way that with no applied pressure the gauge is reading 1 bar, then when a pressure of 0.5 bar is applied to the gauge it will read 1.5 bar with an applied pressure of 5 bar. The gauge will read 6 bar. At every point on the scale the gauge will be indicating a pressure which is one bar greater than the true pressure. This type of inaccuracy is known as a zero error. Span or range errors. If we have corrected our zero reading so that the gauge now reads zero bar when there is no applied pressure, we may find that applying a small pressure gives us a reading with a small error but that as a higher pressure is applied a greater deviation from the true value is indicated. For example, check the true value in indicated reading. Graphs show the variation. Linearity, angularity, errors. If we check our gauge and we find that at zero pressure it reads correctly and at maximum scale pressure it also reads correctly, but between zero and maximum it reads inaccurately, then we have a linearity error. Pressure gauge recalibration, recalibration procedure. Step 1. Connect the gauge to be calibrated and the master gauge to calibrator as shown on figure. Step 2. Before applying any pressure to the gauge, vent the system with help of needle valve and spindle wheel. Pressure gauge recalibration, recalibration procedure. Step 3. Before applying any pressure to the gauge, Set the pointer to read zero on the scale. Step four, apply pressure so test gauge reads 100%. With reference pressure. Note if test gauge is reading high or low and degree of variation. Pressure gauge recalibration, recalibration procedure. Step five, Remove pressure, and remove pointer and dial, if necessary, but, step 6, adjust full scale slide or gooseneck, a, if reference was greater than test gauge, reduce distance between pushrod and shaft, b, if reference was less than test gauge, Increase distance between pushrod and shaft. Pressure gauge recalibration, recalibration procedure. Step 7, mount dial and pointer. Repeat steps 1, 2, step 6 until test gauge reads within specified accuracy with respect to reference gauge when at 100%. Pressure gauge recalibration, recalibration procedure. Step 8, apply 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% to test gauge. At each point, compare test to reference. If all values are within specified limits, Slowly reduce pressure and check descending pressure at 75%, 50%, and 25%. If 100% reading was out of limits, go back to step 1. If any intermediate readings are out of limits, perform step 9. If all readings are within limits, calibration is finished. Pressure gauge recalibration, recalibration procedure, step 9, 
remove pressure from test gauge, and remove pointer and dial. Adjust pushrod linearity adjustment as follows. A. If reference was reading higher than test gauge, lengthen the pushrod. This may require loosening and sliding or bending. B. If reference was reading lower than test gauge, shorten the pushrod. This may require loosening and sliding or bending. Pressure gauge recalibration, recalibration procedure. Step 10, repeat steps 1 to 6, A. If test gauge and reference agree within accuracy limits, calibration is finished. Then record as left, past, B. If after three trails the percent error values, Calculated for the gauge are not within the limit the gauge should be rejected. Note, if linearity cannot be achieved with the above procedure, other factors, such as dial centering, mechanical friction in movement, then gauge may need repair. Thank you for watching this video.